Floss is a torture device. Sharp little ropes for your teeth with a minty sting. Or how about those scary looking picks or sticks? No wonder we all hate flossing. I'm gonna confess something. I've never been one for flossing. I always found that it made my gums sore and was just a generally unpleasant task. So I'm the type of person that only tends to floss the day before I go to the dentist and who's with me out there. I think I can try to avoid the lectures, but they know, they always know. So I was interested when recently Philips offered me the opportunity to try out a new water flosser. Admittedly, I was surprised because I thought those came and went in the 1990s, but it turns out the technology is still around and there's been some improvement. In this review, I'll show you what you get with the Philips Sonicare cordless power flosser, how it works, the special features it has, and what the overall experience is like. I'll wrap things up with the pros and the cons and tell you if I think I can recommend the Philips cordless power flosser to you. Now, what is a cordless power flosser and what can it do? If you've ever heard the term water pick, you'll be familiar with a water flosser. While water pick is a brand name like Kleenex or Jell-O, the concept for the device is widely available. A power flosser uses jets of water to get into the narrower areas between your teeth. It's designed to loosen debris that your toothbrush can't reach and to remove plaque on your tooth surface, all in hopes of reducing tooth decay and keeping your gums healthy. Recommended usage is once per day. Now this unit is completely self-contained. There's no hoses or cords. While it is extremely big and kind of clunky, it's actually pretty easy to maneuver and it's well balanced in weight, so it's actually easy to use even when it's full. Let's take a look at what's in the box. The package is pretty pared down. You'll get the large power flosser device, which is made up of two parts. There's a handle with all the buttons and controls and a clear plastic water tank on the bottom. Also included in my kit were two different flossing nozzles. There's an F1 standard nozzle as well as an F3 quad stream nozzle, which has a rubber end. To use the power flosser, make sure it's charged up. There's a small USB-C charging port in the handle. Fill the water reservoir with lukewarm water. It attaches to the handle with a simple twist, or you can use the little door in the back of the tank. Next, you'll want to choose your nozzle and insert it into the top of the device. Now, this isn't the most intuitive part of the job, and you may need to loosen the collar at the top of the flosser to get your nozzle in properly. You're going for a distinct clicking sound. It took me a couple tries, but once I understood what to do, it was easy from there on. So how exactly do you use a water flosser? There are a couple of ways, actually. Philips user manual recommends you put the nozzle in your mouth and then lean over the sink and partially close your lips to avoid splashing, but I found this messy and inefficient, so I went with method number two. That's where you close your mouth all together, do a few teeth at a time until your mouth is full of water, then spit the water into the sink and carry on. The nozzle tip can be turned to different angles so it can reach both the backside and the front of your teeth more easily. You can also use your flossers to clean orthodontics and retainers too. This flosser has three different intensity settings, essentially low, medium, and high. There's actually a decent amount of difference between these settings, with the low setting being extremely gentle, while the highest setting actually feels like it's doing more cleaning. After testing out each of the different levels, I found I preferred the highest intensity setting. There are also two different modes, clean and deep clean, and you can easily switch between them by pressing the mode button on the handle. Clean mode essentially uses a single stream of water, while deep clean alternates regular intensity with a stronger pulse. While the pulsations are more noticeable, this might just be a personal preference thing, but I found the high-low pulsations did seem like they were maybe more helpful at dislodging any stubborn bits. So what was my experience like? Since this is my first time ever using a device like this, I don't really have anything to compare it to. All I can say is that this model was really easy to use and seemed to hold enough water for me to do my whole mouth on a single tank. The jets of water aren't painful or stinging, it's more of a gentle swirling, I guess you could say. Even though there are different intensities, I didn't feel that any of them was too much. Now, as I noted earlier, I wasn't a fan of the brand recommended method of leaning over the sink with my mouth open to do the water flossing. I just found it a bit too messy. 
Overall though, I think it did an extremely good job at getting all the junk my toothbrush tends to miss, and the proof of this was in the water when I spit it into the sink each time. Even though I'd already brushed my teeth, the water flosser was still finding bits to clean away. You should get about 25 uses per charge, with each session lasting about a minute or so. There is a battery indicator on the bottom of the handle that'll show a simple light when you activate it. If it's solid green, it's full. The charging time isn't disclosed in the manual, but when mine was running low, I would just plug it in before bed and it was recharged by morning. Philip says you should clean your power flosser about once a week by cleaning the water reservoir either in the dishwasher or using soap and water. You can also run vinegar water through it to give it a deep clean if needed. One neat little extra feature is that you can actually store your flossing nozzles inside the water reservoir by inserting the bottom of the nozzle into the bottom of the power flosser. I got quite a few questions about this device as I was testing it. I found out you can use mouthwash mixed with water in the reservoir. You can also use it to clean orthodontics and presume Probably something like dentures too. And Philips recommends you replace your flossing nozzles, by the way, about every six months or the same as a toothbrush. Replacement nozzles cost about 25 bucks each, which I think is probably the biggest downside to this device. They also seemed a bit hard to find. I can also say I liked both of the different ends. The rubber tipped one seems a bit softer and gentler with that quad stream, but what works for you will kind of just be personal preference. Overall, I was kind of surprised that I liked this device and I found it both useful and effective. Philips Sonicare Cordless Power Flosser's cordless operation makes it really easy to use without having to worry about cords and tubing getting tangled. The weight and the balance of the device also makes it easy to maneuver and the variety of different tips lets you get the most comfortable experience for you. I like the options for different cleaning modes and intensities and I found there is probably a setting that would suit everyone from kids to seniors. Any downsides? During my testing, I didn't really find any major red flags, to be honest. I suppose I could complain that 25 minutes of battery on a single charge is not very much, but considering that is almost a full month of use, it actually seems pretty reasonable. The other gripe might be just that the handle and the water tank are kind of big and bulky, but compared to some of those countertop models I've seen, this actually seems like a really compact solution. The biggest downside of this device for me is the extremely pricey replacement nozzles. At about 25 bucks a pop or $50 for a two pack, the cost for this will quickly outstrip the original price you're going to pay for the water flosser. Even so, this device delivers on its promises and it has made me a new fan of the Philips Sonicare cordless power flosser and I think you will be too. It sells for about $79 both in the US and Canada and you can get it from places like Amazon. Now I get to review all kinds of fun tooth technology. Fun tooth technology? Who knew? Check out this Philips toothbrush or see why I wasn't a fan of Oral-B's newer toothbrush right now.